On Friday, October 19th, the Ball State Cardinals face the Falcons from Bowling Green. To continue MAC play, let's pick things up in the first, right around the 10 minute mark. Stacy Lucas over to Samantha Bland with the goal. That would be the defender's fourth goal of the season, and it would put Bowling Green ahead, one to nothing at the 9.48 mark. Later in the game, Caitlin Alexander with the kick for Ball State. And that one takes a lucky bounce, but what a play by Samantha Bland who scored earlier for Bowling Green, saving that goal. Bowling Green holds on to the lead at half, one to nothing. Now picking things up in the second, Caitlin Alexander on the breakaway, and she puts that one into the back of the net. So the Cardinals tie it up at the 48th minute mark, one to one. That's Caitlin Alexander's third goal of the season. Later in the half, Caitlin Alexander lining up to take the corner kick, and Emily Ryan would get ahead on that one, putting it into the corner of the net. Ryan's fourth goal of the year, and that would put Ball State ahead two to one in the 53rd minute of play. Now moving ahead to the 61st minute, Bowling Green would have a chance to answer. Stacy Lucas had an assist earlier in the game, but this time she'd be on a breakaway and she'd beat Ball State defender and Rachel Murphy to put it in the back of the net. That would tie the game two to two, and that's how it would remain until overtime. Sarah Libel with a shot in the first overtime. It was not good, and it would go to a second overtime. Michelle Salmon talking with several of her players before the second overtime. The ball sent ahead for Ball State. Emily Ryan comes down with it, gets it to her feet, splits two defenders, and she'd find the corner of the net. So Ball State wins it three to two. That's Emily Ryan's fifth goal of the year. Michelle always says the goals always come when you're not thinking anything at all. And I wasn't, I wasn't thinking anything at all, and it came, and I was just so relieved. I mean, we deserve this win. The final in this one, Ball State three, Bowling Green two. Stats for Ball State, Caitlin Alexander had a goal in the 48th minute and an assist to Emily Ryan, who scored a goal in the 53rd minute and the game winner in the 108th minute. Interesting facts for Ball State, it was the Cardinals' first overtime win this season. And Emily Ryan's two goals, well that would move her up the career list. She's tied with Amy Holst for third all time with 21 career goals. Michelle Salmon had this to say after the game. But we played well all day. I mean, uh, Peter, we just did some really nice things on and off the ball. We definitely deserved to win this. And, and you know, uh, they got two goals, the first one, a little shaky there, and then, of course, a defensive mistake on the second one. But other than that, we played outstanding defense again. And, uh, and, and this team just shows their resilience, and especially in overtime. I mean, Emily's goal, world-class goal, splits two defenders to slip that home. Couldn't be more proud of uh, the way our team played today. And, and to get the result on a, on a day that's windy and rainy, hey, I'll take it.